Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make these scrumptious butternut pecan muffins. Okay, so this recipe is something you're going to make if you have leftover butternut squash. You don't have to go make a whole butternut squash just to make this. I mean, you can if you want to, if you want to make a big batch. But I had leftover butternut squash one day and that's how I came up with this recipe. With my leftover squash, I just put it in this container and mash it. The leftover butternut squash is from a butternut squash that I roasted in the oven. It was just plain roasted. And if you want to see how to roast a butternut squash in the oven, I'm going to leave my recipe link below for you. Okay, let's get started. For this recipe, you're going to need one and three quarter cup of flour, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of packed brown sugar, one teaspoon baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, and a quarter teaspoon of allspice. You're going to mix that together. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. I don't know what happened to me, you guys, but lately I've been on a butternut squash kick. I mean, I've been eating butternut squash every which way possible. So, I came up with this recipe and oh my goodness, it's just so good. I've been roasting it in the oven, putting it in my waffles, I've been cooking it on the stove with my chicken, I made a really good one with yellow ginger, and then another time I made another one with ricotta or achote, you know Belizean style, oh my gosh those were so good. If you're interested in recipes like that, let me know below if you would like to see how I cook it Belizean style. For a minute there, I thought I was going to look like a butternut squash soon because I've just been eating it so much but I have to say I've been really enjoying it. And when I like something, I'll eat it a lot until I get tired of it. Okay, so to this clean bowl, I'm adding one cup of the cooked butternut squash. To that, I'm going to add two eggs. Half a cup of oil, and I'm just using some canola oil. A quarter cup of milk. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk that until everything is mixed together. Okay, now you're going to pour this in your flour mixture and you're going to mix that together. Okay. 
If you haven't been following me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Sharani. I'm always sharing stuff in my stories over there, so come follow me. The very last thing you're going to add is a half a cup of pecans. I love this little nut chopper, I use it all the time and every time I use it on this channel people always comment on how much they like it. So I'm going to leave a link below for you if you're interested. And you're just going to fold that in. I'm using these cute fall liners. I picked these up from Michaels. Aren't they just so cute? Oh my gosh, they just make me happy. I'm using my ice cream scoop to put the butter in the liner and you're going to fill each one about 3 quarter of the way. I'm just using my spoon to add a little bit more to some of them because I want them to be even. Bake this in a preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. I'm going to put these on my wire rack to cool. I still have a little bit more butter left so I'm going to put them in the pan and in total this made 18 muffins. Okay, now it's time to taste one and oh my goodness, you guys, you have to try this recipe. It's just perfect for fall. It's perfect with a nice cup of warm something, you know, if you're into coffee or tea or whatever, but it's just perfect with the weather. I really hope you give this recipe a try. It's just perfect for the season. I've been enjoying this every morning with a cup of coffee and a boiled egg. Oh my goodness, it's just so good. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.